Good evening. This is Amber Bobinette, the principal from Briceville Elementary, streaming to you from my office. So, um, as you know, progress reports are going home tomorrow, and I would encourage you to take a look at those, go over your child's grade with your child, and also um, prepare to schedule a parent-teacher conference so that um, you can better understand your child's performance in all areas. Also going home with progress reports are FSA score reports from the spring of 2019. So here's an example, and I'm sorry it looks backwards um, on the computer screen, but I think you will get the idea. Um, and these score reports just let you know how your child performed on the FSA in the spring of 2019. We had such a great outcome at Bryceville Elementary School. I'm so proud to report that 80 percent and more of our students scored um, level three and higher. And what a level three means is that um, the students scored proficiently. It means they passed the FSA, which is a wonderful, wonderful thing. Um, as you can see on the score report, I've blocked out the name, um, but you can see over here on the side, there are five different levels for the FSA. This is an English language arts report, but the math report looks identical to it. So you have a level one, two, three, four, and five. And these are not grade levels. These are actually proficiency levels. So whether your child is in third grade, fourth grade, or fifth grade, a level three would be considered proficient. A level four would be considered above proficient, and a level five would be even above that. Um, if we have a student scoring a level one or a two, um, obviously we are going to intervene with some additional support here at school. Um, if you open up the score report, you are going to see um, what the child scored in the previous grade level. So you can compare um, how the child did in the previous year and how the child did in the current school year. Um, in this particular score report, the um, students remained proficient, but the proficiency level went down. What we would hope to see is that the proficiency level would continue to remain um, in that same proficiency level or continue to go up, and that is what we would strive for. Um, performance compared here at the bottom, we can see that um, level three at our school, 43% um, of our students scored a level three. In our district, 32% scored a level three. And in the state, 28% scored a level three. So you can see that we did very, very well um, comparatively um, with the district and the state. Um, there are more performance details on the next page, and again, I know this is backwards to you, but it outlines the areas in reading for um, each standard. So we have key ideas and details, craft and structure, integration of knowledge and ideas, language and editing, and text-based writing, which is part of the ELA. Over here on the far right-hand column, we have points possible. And here in the column directly before are the points that your student earned um, next to the number of possible points. And so you can see where your child's strengths are and you can see some areas for growth. And on the back of the score report, we have on the English language arts, we have um, a breakdown of writing. And writing is broken down into three components, statement of purpose, focus, and organization, evidence and elaboration, and conventions of standard English. And in each of those areas is given a score for um, those particular areas that would fall within this text-based writing on the previous page. So all of that is combined to give us this total score on the front, this total proficiency score. On the back of the report, you will also find recommended resources from um, the Florida Department of Education, and you're welcome to go online and check these out. So I hope this helps you um, better understand the FSA score reports. The math report is laid out in an identical format and um, with the proficiency levels and the standards areas and also with additional resources. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call here at the school. We'd be more than happy to help you understand your child's performance um, from the 2018 spring results for math and um, reading 
or science if um, student was in fifth grade, and um, also on your child's current progress report, where your child is now and how they're progressing. All right, everyone have a great evening, and we look forward to getting progress reports and FSA score reports home to students tomorrow.